Walk away from risk with Venaflow. Venaflow Elite is the only DVT compression device that mimics ambulation, and consequently, it's proven to reduce DVT rates by 50% versus other devices. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Venaflow Elite device, as well as how to troubleshoot any issues that may arise. This demonstration consists of four basic steps. Preparing the pump, applying the cuffs, connecting the system, and troubleshooting. Let's begin with the first step, preparing the pump. Press the bed hanger release button here and gently pull up the telescoping bed hanger to the desired length. Then proceed to hang the pump on the rail or foot of the bed. If needed, you can press the release button and ratchet the hanger back to securely fix the pump on the bed. The next step is applying the cuffs. Apply the cuffs with the tubing pointed towards the foot. The cuffs are hypoallergenic and may be placed directly against the skin or over a light compression stocking. The performance of this device is consistent no matter where this air cell is placed. You may place the cuff in a posterior, anterior, or lateral position. In the operating room, it's advised to place the air cell in an anterior position to minimize movement during the surgical procedure. Wrap the cuff around the leg and secure the cuff straps so that they're snug, but not tight. The cuffs are one size fits all and may be trimmed for a more snug fit. The third step is to connect the system. Attach the tube assembly to the pump on one end and to the cuffs on the other. Make sure the connectors click securely together. Then press the green on-off button to power on the device. The cuffs will fill instantly, inflating the distal air cell first. Then the proximal air cell a fraction of a second later. After six seconds, the cuffs deflate. If you'd like a single leg application only, you must wait for cuff detection to complete at 100%, and then the screen will switch to ramp up. The screen will show a diamond icon on the left side of the screen indicating ramp up. When that diamond is gone, ramp up is complete. During the three minute ramp up period, you must select single leg application if desired. Simply press the single dual leg button and check that there's only one leg icon featured on the screen. Now we're ready to troubleshoot. If there is a discrepancy between what the device detects and how many cuffs are attached, the device will go into leg alarm. If this happens, simply press the green on off reset button and ensure the screen and the number of cuffs attached match. If there is a leak or kink in the tubing or cuffs, you may get a check tube alarm. If this occurs, press the green on off reset button and check tubes and cuffs for obvious leaks or kinks. If there's nothing visible, then change both the tubing and cuffs. If the check tubes alarm persists, then call DJO customer service to get a device replacement. If there is a more serious internal malfunction of the device, you may get a call for service alarm. You may press the on off reset button to reset the alarm. However, this alarm will persist and the device will no longer function until the problem is corrected. In the unlikely event of this situation, you must call customer service to return the system and to get a replacement. Your vascular specialist will be able to answer any additional questions you may have about the VenaFlow Elite system. For additional instructions, refer to the operator's manual. Thank you for watching.